what we're showing here is the removal of a degraded oil-bound colophony coating <clears throat> that has deteriorated to the point of darkening and obscuring. The fact that it's oil-bound and is on top of oil gilding poses a problem. Using any kind of VOC or uh, solvent, such as uh, acetone, MEK, or, or a uh, methylene chloride, will ruin and disrupt the oil-bound adhesive that's holding the gold on. So, in order to prevent that, we're using a water-based material, which is formulated out of um, abiotic acid, which is a, an acid from colophony. So we're working on cleaning like and like, like cleans like, so we're working with affinity. Also, the fact that we need to bust up that oil film without being too aggressive of a solvent, we have simply raised the pH of the water content of this solution. About 8.5 will begin to break up an oil film as we know from cleaning paintings and things like that. So increasing the oil or the pH of this will allow us to attack the oil film on top but not so aggressive that it will attack the oil film holding the leaf on. You can see the dark areas that are uh, particularly thick and deteriorated. We don't want to <clears throat> leave the solution on too long or it will begin to attack, so we have to do it slowly. And then we may have to come back and hit those single areas a second time. The larger flowers are actually water gilded and we'll attempt to do those in a different way. We cannot use the water resin soap for that. So we will go to a solvent. And we'll get to that in a moment. But let's see if we can get these particularly heavy areas off without attacking the thinner areas. Now that looks pretty good there. That looks good there. So And it looks good down there. But we still have these heavy spots. So let's see if we can't attack those. The pH on this is probably about 10, maybe even 11. So it still needs to be watched and carefully put on. This is a very slow process and we like to take our time. A little bit of cotton. We thicken this with methyl cellulose in order for it to be not quite so water loose and stay in place for us somewhat. But we don't want to also go too much with the mechanical action of the brush or we can just wear right through this very thin layer of gold. So let's be gentle. We use the cotton ball to soak it up, but not necessarily drag across it. We can see that our surface is a bit sticky, which is fine. It means it's working. Now 
uh, the degree how far we clean is really very subjective. But I think we still have more on there than we would like, particularly in those heavy spots. So let's go back to those. We always run the risk that there is some gold missing already from previous attempts at cleaning. It's not unusual for gilded objects to suffer that. And we'll let that sit for a minute. In the meantime, we can start our water gilding in our brush. And this is a solvent blend that has been gelled. It is acetone, toluene, methanol, and methylene chloride. 